Hi guys! So in this video, uh, I'll be showing you three of the things that I've bought uh, recently. Uh, some of which are quite useful for the things that, that I do. And some of you might also find useful. And some things that are not. So, first off, let's talk about this. It's a uh, digital microscope with a four, uh, four and a half inch screen. So, uh, I guess for most of you young guys, you don't really need it. I mean, your eyesight's still good. But for me, it's, uh, you know, the old eyes aren't uh, as clear as they were before. So, I have these things. So, for close-up close up work with circuit boards or projects. So, it's just, you know, magnifying goggles. Uh, I also have, and was using this before, so uh, this is uh, what you clamp on to your soldering station, so you can you know get a close up of uh, the circuit boards while you're soldering it. Uh, and I always wanted one of these digital things before, but I mean since this works, yeah, still use it. But uh, this has a certain distinct advantages. One is I don't have to lean in over the the project and get all that solder to my face. Uh, uh, second, this thing, you know, you can put a memory card in it and, you know, you can record and take pictures. So that's one very useful thing about it. So nice. I'll be using this uh, quite a lot, I think. So, uh, I usually buy the, you know, the low end of the equipment because I, I really don't have a need for something like a high res or a full 23 inch monitor for you know for this I I don't actually do soldering like eight hours a day so it's something like this works perfectly well uh, the only thing is you know you have to be prepared when you're buying the cheap stuff some of the things are you know not that good for this in particular my only complaint was that the mounting for it it's uh, too short so it gives you a very zoomed in view of the circuit board but you know I want it a little less zoomed in than that because it's uh, quite difficult to solder something when you're you know when you're looking at that particular point so I want to be able to zoom out a bit uh, so I can sort of move the uh, soldering iron around and it's a minor point all I have to do is just extend the you know, the, the holder arm you know, maybe one or two inches above. So I'll just do that with a piece of wood or something. So this, uh, cheap as it is, useful, quite useful. So the second thing is, uh, you, I guess some of you who've seen some of my videos know that I've been working with the thermal cameras and I have a couple of leptons. So this one is a, you know, it's a made in China, brand thermal camera that you can plug into your Android phone and uh, here it is there we go don't know if you can see that ah there you go so tada here I am in thermal mode so this thing is also going to be quite useful uh, I used to use just a uh, you know a normal thermometer oh, wait. let me show you uh, this so you know just point it and get a temperature reading so I usually use that when you know when when I'm building circuits and uh, and I'm worried that it might overheat or something like that, so you know this point thermometer is useful. But uh, you know when you're sort of evaluating other products or using circuits that are that are pre-made, especially as I mentioned before, I use a lot of cheap stuff, so it's a been pretty useful for me to see a thermal image of that circuit board 
you know when I turn it on I'll see immediately what parts are heating up and you know that should not be heating up so thermal camera cost me maybe around 160 US dollars so around 8,000 pesos uh, pretty much worth it for me uh, it'll save a lot of uh, you know burned out circuits uh, if I get to detect you know the you know those devices heating up when they shouldn't so pretty useful next well I've been buying things that are going to be very useful for work so why not buy something that's not but it's going to be you know pretty uh, entertaining for me I got myself a you know, cheap Tesla coil so I've always wanted one of these things. I've always wanted to build one of these things. Uh, my uncle had these old popular science magazines. So those had plans for, you know, building, you know, uh, Tesla coils that you plug into a wall, uh, you know, uh, into a wall socket. So using uh, 110 volts uh, if you're in the U.S. I've never been able to do that, but now everything's digital, so I got a Tesla coil. And it's supposed to be able to play music also, so I'll be using this not very much, but uh, it's something I always wanted to have. So, so that's it, uh, guys. Uh, that's it for now, and... Uh, See you later. Hope you find that interesting. So, these things, pretty useful, even if it's the cheap versions. Thermal cameras, also useful for all those who are, especially those who are working with uh, things that heat up, like power supplies and such. It's really, uh, it really comes in handy. So, that's it. Uh, see you guys next time. Hope all your projects go well. See you soon.